out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. I also do your you versus them reading, weekly you versus them reading Leo, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point. Uh, but when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Leo, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards. And then, also, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you do find a uh, card that resonates with you, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you take the time to do that for me, Leo. And then finally, this reading's here just to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a choice in your life. It's your life to live, not mine, Leo. And with all that being said, let's just get into your overall energies this week. Um, hopefully this reading gives you some food for thought, something for you to think about as you go throughout your week as well. So the two cards that I pulled for your overall energy, Leo, is the Ace of Wands and the World card. So I like this. This is the, <laughs> I really do, uh, I said the, I made the observation from Aries video, Leo, that I was like, I think I always start out my reading saying I like this after I list y'all's cards. Actually, I think it's true. But it's true. I like this because it's like Ace of Wands is the card of forward movement into your passion, whatever you're feeling passionate about in this moment. You could be feeling passionate about a person. You could be feeling passionate about whatever it is. You're just functioning off of passion this week. So I really enjoy that, Leo. That's why I really do enjoy that. <laughs> like, I just enjoy people that function off of passion and I just enjoy seeing forward movement, which is what Wands represents presents. The world card comes in of perspective being changed, perspectives changing and shifting. The world card also talks about um, just change overall. So this is definitely just a week of things probably just shifting in your life, but it's all in the name of forward movement um, for you. Uh, Leo. So definitely keep this in mind. We're going to definitely see how this incorporates throughout the rest of your messages this week, Leo. But one thing I can definitely say when you read in between the lines when it comes to tarot, Leo, is like spirit isn't going to tell you to continue moving forward if you're on the wrong path, Leo. So if you are having anxiety about the shifts that are happening in your life, um, feeling as if maybe you're on, like you are on the wrong path or you took the wrong exit, right? You, Ace of Wands comes in letting me know you're not. Continue moving forward. If you were not making the right decision, making the right decision or going down the wrong path, uh, Leo, then you would probably have a, uh, probably have like a Six of Swords instead of like an Ace of Wands paired with this uh, world card. It would be like that washing hands clean or something. It would be, you know, stuff like that. And this, is, this is good. This is good forward movement. So, Leo, let's start getting into the nitty gritty of this reading. We're going to start out this reading doing tapping into the career life for my Leos that are interested in career. And then we'll just go from there and just we'll get into love afterwards and then overall messages, Leo. But let's start with career. First card that comes out is the Knight of Coins. So going out into new territory, taking a risk for some of you. Uh, the Knight of Coins always is like a fairly good card in terms of letting you know for finances, especially when it is directly for a career. Um, definitely would kind of like say, um, push yourself a little bit more. Push yourself, Leo. Uh, challenge yourself a little bit because while it's like the Knight of Coins has good intention, there does need to be a little bit more um, refinement, right? Three of Swords comes in as the back of the deck energy. So it does let me know of like, maybe like, what it is that you need to work on, Leo, perhaps, is, uh, you know, you have good ideas, perhaps. You have the uh, work ethic, even, perhaps, to welcome in more finances. You're a good worker, Leo, but maybe there needs to be a little bit more, um, I don't want to say refinement, because that's not the word for it, Leo. Let's say you want a little bit more more scheduledness, a little bit more strict of a schedule when it comes to your work life, right? And just maybe even just in the name of organization, right? So you can be more efficient with your time. Um, 
Let's pull some clarifiers though to see what's up. Um, the Temperance card did keep on wanting to come out as well. So for some of you Leos, the, the need for patience does need to happen. Um, when it comes to your work life, also it does talk about bringing things back into balance of some sort. Usually in terms of emotions when it have when it's with the Temperance card because the Temperance card is pretty sure those are cups. Yeah, these are cups. They're, these are cups with um, so it's usually in regards to like your emotions. So let's just say um, Leo, you've been having like some insecurities in terms of your finances and like some insecurities. Let's say you took a risk this because this is kind of like a risk taking card. This is like the card of where it's just like you know. You just got that new job or you're going into a new job or you're considering like a new job it's just some type of new energy maybe you're not getting like the paycheck that you thought or you just started working and it's just like not how you thought it was going to be um temperance comes in for that patience but let's pull some clarifiers though so we can refine this message a little bit more right so we're not all over I don't know if y'all saw those cards like go aggressively all over the place Aries but uh why do I call you Aries Leo but let's get into this now. So the Knight of Wands came flying out for you guys. So two different knights coming in as a pairing. This is really passionate energy, as I was saying before. Forward energy continuing on with that theme of the Ace of Wands and the world card. You're really venturing out into a whole new world. <laughs> Isn't that a song from Disney? A whole new world. Um, but really, in essence, you're really putting yourself out there. You're really taking a chance for something. When it's paired with the Knight of Wands, it's really probably like a passion project for a lot of you Leos. Um, so maybe you guys are like publishing like your first book. Maybe you're opening up your Etsy store. Maybe you're opening up your YouTube channel and deciding what you want to do for a YouTube channel even, right? Um, back of the deck energy. Let's see what it has to say. Oh, it came flying out anyways. Five of Pentacles. So yeah, this is confirming what I was saying before. It does feel like a lot of you guys, Leo, have been having a little bit of insecurity in terms of your finances or insecurity in terms of some shape or form while you're in this journey in some type of journey in terms of your finances and career that's giving you anxiety. Um, Nine of Swords comes in <laughs> emphasizing it. You're just overall, Leo, I feel like you just need a hug when it comes to like your finances. It feels like as if like your work life is just super stressful. It's giving you a lot of anxiety and you just need like a hug at this time, honey. Like I'm looking at this energy and I'm like, wow, this is heavy. Strength card comes in of where it's confirming this, Leo. This is your card. Um, lets you know that this is like a week of where Mm. I would say some type of shift needs to happen. Let's look at, let's figure out why it is you're having this anxiety, Leo. What's going on that's causing this anxiety? Is it in your control or not? Um, regardless of the answer, it's going to help one way or another. If it is in your control, what is it that we can do to um, fix that, right? What, like, if it's in your control and it's just going to be challenging to you, force you to pull a little bit of inner strength in, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not in your control, Leo. The lesson in this is that, like, stop having anxiety over things that you cannot control. If you've done your best, that's all you can do. Sitting in this Five of Pentacle energy is just going to do nothing but um, weigh you down and just continue stressing you out with this Nine of Swords. Like, this is an another anxiety where it's just, like, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You constantly just have like these looming thoughts. Like you go out for a picnic and you're just still like stressing about your finances and how you're going to pay that bill. And it's just like, I get it, Leo, like 100%. Like right now it's easy for me to talk about it because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you right now. But it's just like finances, especially during a time like this, can be stressful. Um, so, but what can we do to remedy that? Because we don't want to sit in that energy for too long, right? Uh, let's get into the social things, social life for you, my Leo. See what's going on there in regards to your social connections. Now, when I say social connections, this could be romantic or platonic. Could be your family. Could be your friend. Could be your husband. Could be whatever. Could be a coworker even. Uh, let's see what's going on there. Justice card comes in. Things being back into balance. Rights being wronged. If you have been wronged. Um, Something that just keeps coming to mind is like things are finally going to start making sense for you. I feel like something, someone's like, someone's actions this week are going to finally like click with you and be like, okay, that's why that was happening. That's why they were doing this. That's why they were saying this. This is just, I don't know, something's just making sense. Uh, let's get into this, Aries. Let's see. Why am I calling you Aries, Leo? I apologize. Um, let's get into this, Leo. 
of this justice card and see why this is here for your social connections. It's a powerful card to have for your social one way or another. Um, let's see. Lover's card comes out. So big decision, someone that you care a lot about. Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Knight of Swords. Oh, are you, honey, are you? A lot, again, more knights. Leo, you're like, definitely like, I can understand why you're probably feeling stressed because it definitely feels like you're experiencing a lot of newness right now. You're probably um, in a heavy transitional phase of like a bunch of things that you just didn't anticipate happening in your life happening. A lot of changes, a lot of shifts, and you probably just don't know what right decision to make, right? The lover's card lets me know more so just you care a lot deeply about this person. It's not going to be someone, someone's surface level. Um, I don't really get like the vibe of like a coworker or something like that. This is someone that you actually have some type of investment into, um, because of the seven of, uh, pentacles, right? As well. This lets me know like this, these roots are, ta have taken hold, um, in some type of way. Queen of Cups comes in in terms of emotions. Now, this doesn't really answer anything for me. I'm going to be honest here, Leo, with these cards. This kind of just lets me know that there's a person in your life that's extremely prevalent that you've vested a lot of time into. They have a, an emotional attachment to. Things are being brought into balance. But what does that even mean with that justice card? Like, what does that mean? Knight of Swords, though. This is, didn't we have the Knight of Swords in your back of the deck? Yeah, two different Knights of Swords. I don't, yeah, it seems like you want to walk away from something, Leo. It seems like you want to walk away from this person because it just seems as if, like, your perspective has changed and, that, like, you. it's almost as if you're attaching, like, the best way to go forward in this connection and the best way to continue going forward is potentially, like, away from this person with this Knight of Swords. Like, you're running away from this person. Um... It's interesting. I kind of want to know why, but I mean, it's not my business, Leo. Um, but when the cards come up in this way, Leo, if you are considering letting go of something, it does seem to be of your best interest because four of swords comes in of healing. It does seem to be healing for you, so it's not a waste of time. Um, interesting. Interesting. Um, I do just want to remind, it is based off of that Ace of Wands energy and that world card, so... Again, like, I don't feel comfortable telling you to move on from them, but it does seem to be like it. Um, whatever choice you make, it seems to be... Whatever your choice you make, it brings things back into balance um, and really helps you feel at peace. Another ace comes in. Ace of coins comes in for your overall energies. I pulled the second, uh, third row now, uh, Leo, for just overall messages from your spirit guides and all that. Ace of Coins comes in, so two different aces coming in. So when you have two different, like, several aces coming in as a reader, Leo, I can't help but let you know that's usually, like, you see this as, like, an affirmative mes message of going forward with something if the Ace of Wands itself wasn't uh, self-explanatory enough for that. And then Page of Swords. So definitely, I... You've had your eye on something uh leo you definitely had your eye on something and i feel like you're going to start seeing uh it coming closer to you this is something that i'm getting from that let's pull some clarifiers though before we get a little bit too crazy before i start promising you the world let's see what's up with that but interesting though let's see why is this ace of queens here seven of swords the wheel card six of swords and the Three of Pentacles. This seems to be addressing what we're talking about in the second row um, from before, Leo. Is because you have the Six of Swords talking about moving on from something and that being of your best interest. Ace of Coins is like taking matters into your own hands. And this Ace of Coins has been popping up a lot tonight. Um, Six of Swords is like t taking matters into your own hands and moving on from something. It lets me know you're the one that made the choice to move on from something, which... If your social card spread speaks of anything, it definitely confirms that, that you're the one making the choice and in control of being like, making the choice of like moving on from something, letting go of something. The wheel card, yeah, you are the one holding the wheel with the seven of swords as well. You're the one in complete control um, of moving on from something. It does feel like you're just letting go of things that are overwhelming you, giving you anxiety. Um, maybe... But only thing I just want to say, and I'm not saying this is actually the case, 
um, Leo. I just say this just because I want you to like just consider this as well. Because I'm just looking down at it and I'm like, oh yeah. As Five of Pentacles, in terms of your finances, talks about uh, anxiety. Then we have the Seven of Swords coming. Like, just be careful that, or just know the source of the anxiety before you just start willy-nilly cutting things out. Is the only thing I'm going to say. This is not me saying that you're making the wrong decision in anything, uh, Leo. This is just, like, an outside perspective, uh, making sure that, like, you know, because, you know, it's very, we're human, right, Leo? We always will, we feel, we feel all the emotions, and sometimes we can get overwhelmed, and when we're feeling bad, we just want to get rid of, like, figure out what it is that's making us feel bad so we'll just get like get rid of anything that we don't feel like um isn't of service to us until we stop feeling bad um see if we can see if you can identify what's causing you that anxiety before you do any direct action um temperance keeps just popping up in my head for that so a little bit of patience maybe you have to wait it out a little bit long longer but yeah i'm gonna pull a spirit animal card uh to close off this reading for you Number 23 equaling to five for numerology. So write that down, Leo. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. You know, Leo, I feel like this is kind of like a continue. This is more so like an affirmation of being like the thoughts that you're having, the feelings that you're having. Listen to your intuition because it's like if you're doubting yourself, like spirits letting you know that they're actively trying to push you along, actively guiding you along. So if you're feeling anxious, um, Perhaps you're only feeling anxious because you're not aware of like who's your support system, being your spirit guides, being your ancestors, being your guardian angels, whatever it is you believe in, Leo, like look to the spiritual side a little bit and you probably can find a little bit of comfort in there. I feel at least. But um, yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also I would love for you to share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, Leo, I love you so much. Bye.